Hello everyone, here I am doing exercise 2.3, fourth question, chapter is fraction symbol of class 7 and this question is about division. So here we, we have an 8 questions to solve. So let's do the first one. So if you know division is well and good, if you don't know, I am going to explain you in the first question how to divide the two fractions. So when you are dividing a two fraction, the first number, here it is 2 by 5, it will remain same, 2 by 5. Right? Division become multiplication. So in place of division sign, you are going to put multiplication sign and you are going to take the reciprocal of the second number. So reciprocal of 1 by 2 is 2 by 1 or you can write down 2. If you don't know what is reciprocal, it's very simple. You have to just interchange the numerator denominator. For example, if you have a 3 by 4, its reciprocal will be 4 by 3. You have to just interchange these two numbers, numerator and denominator. That will become reciprocal. So once again, when dividing a two fraction, the first fraction will remain same. The first number will remain same. Division become multiplication and you should take the reciprocal of the second number. That's it. Right? So let's continue now. We're gonna, if possible, we have to cancel numbers. If cannot, then leave it. Just multiply. We have, we, there's no number which can be cancelled. So I'm gonna multiply. So two twos are four, and the denominator five ones are five. So first answer is four by five. Then the next second one, second question. Here we have four by nine divided by two by three. So first number, first fraction will remain same, 4 by 9 will remain same. Division become multiplication. In place of 2 by 3, you are going to take the reciprocal, it will become 3 by 2. Now try to cancel number. Can we cancel numbers? Yes, we can cancel three, uh, 2 and 4, 3 and 9. So 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4. 3 and 9 cancel, 3 ones are 3, 3 threes are 9. So here we are left with 2 by 3 and that is the answer. The next one, third question. So we have 3 by 7 divided by 8 by 7. So the first number will remain same, 3 by 7. Division become multiplication. Take the reciprocal of second number which will be 7 by 8. Right? Now cancel numbers which can, which can be cancelled. 7 can be cancelled here. So this is equal to 3 by 8. That's it. Now the fourth one. 2 1 by 3 divided by 3 by 5. So first we are going to convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction. So 2 3s are 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. So 7 by 3 we get. Division become, mul uh, okay, uh, division become multiplication and now take the reciprocal of 3 by 5 which will become 5 by 3. Now try to cancel number if possible. We cannot cancel, so just multiply them. So 7 5s are 35. Multiply these two numbers 35 and 3 3s are 9. We'll get 35 by 9. Then next one, fourth question. Okay, fourth question we have just done. So fifth question. So in fifth one, again same like a fourth one, we have a mixed fraction first. 3 1 by 2 divided by 8 by 3. So first we are going to convert this mixed fraction to improper. So multiply 3 and 2. 3 2's are 6. Now after whatever answer we got, we have to add with the numerator. So 6 plus 1 is 7. So 7 by 2 divided by, or you can uh, divide here itself. Division become multiplication. Take the reciprocal of 8 by 3 which will be 3 by 8. Now can we cancel a number? No. So multiply them. 7 3's are 21 and 2 8's are 16. So it will become 21 upon 16. Then the next question, 6th one. If possible, if you want to convert, 21 upon 16 is an improper fraction. We can convert this into mixed fraction. It will be 16 and here we are going to get 1. 16 1's are 16 and how much more we have to add to get 21? It is 5. So we'll get 1, 5 by 16. So both answers are same here. You can stop at 21 upon 16 or if you want to solve it, if you want to convert this into mixed fraction, you can do it. The, the, you're going to get the correct answer. Like both are same here. 21 upon 16 is also correct answer. 1, 5 by 16 is also correct answer. The next one, sixth question. So 2 by 5 divided by 1, 1 by 2. 
Now here remember in the previous question we had a mixed fraction first and then we have we like we did the division in the second step like I have converted division into multiplication and took the reciprocal. But here if you observe we have a mixed fraction in the second number. So first you have to convert this into a mixed uh, improper fraction and then you take the reciprocal. Okay. You have to do this in a two different steps. So we will get 2 by 5 division become multiplication or you just don't do that we're going to first convert this into a improper fraction so division will remain same so convert this 2 ones are 2 2 plus 1 is 3 we'll get here 3 by 2 now we're going to divide it so let me erase this so this is equal to so 2 by 5 will remain same division become multiplication take the reciprocal of 3 by 2 it will be 2 by 3 now can we cancel in number here we cannot cancel so just multiply so 2 twos are 4 upon 3 fives are 15 so 4 by 15 is the answer then seventh question so here we have a both mixed fraction we want to first convert them so 3 1 by 5 divided by 1 2 by 3 so this is equal to so 3 5 is 15 15 plus 1 is 16 so 16 by 5 divided by 3 ones are 3 3 plus 2 is 5 5 by 3 now divide them so this is equal to 16 by 5 division become multiplication take the reciprocal of 5 by 3 which is 3 by 5 now can we cancel a number no we cannot cancel so just multiply so 16 3 is a is a 16 3 is 48 so 48 upon 5 5 is a 25 so 48 upon 25 is the answer the next one if you want you can convert this into mixed fraction now I'm not doing it because 48 upon 25 is an improper fraction you can convert it if you want to the next one last question that's the eighth one Here again we have a two numbers both are mixed fractions so 2 1 by 5 divided by 1 1 upon 5. So first number when you convert it it will be 2 5 is a 10, 10 plus 1 is 11. So 11 by 5 divided by 5 1 is a 5, 5 plus 1 is 6, 6 by 5. So this is equal to 11 by 5 division become multiplication. Take the reciprocal of second number it is 5 by 6. Now cancel numbers, we can cancel 5 and 5, 5 ones and 5 ones are. So we're left with 11 and 6. So 11 upon 6 is the answer. So that's it. We have done all the 8 questions. With this, this exercise is over. In case you have further questions or doubts, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.